Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to film how I make my notebooks for university. So this might seem kind of weird, but I used to carry a folder with me to university, but the problem with that is that it's really bulky and it takes up a lot of space. But then with a notebook, the problem is that you can't really rearrange pages in the way that you want to. So I decided to combine the best of both worlds and make a folder notebook. So if you wanna see how I've made it, then keep on watching. Before I filmed how to make this notebook, I already made three other notebooks. So I'll be following the same method that I used for that. And I use brush pens to basically letter the title for the module. So in this one, I'm making the book for nuclear and astrophysics. And actually lettering is quite difficult, so I do end up lettering again and again and again until it looks the way that I want it to look. I think I lettered this about nine times before I was happy with the final result. And I just practice writing again and again until I'm happy with how it looks. Also, before I filmed this video, I did pick out a colour scheme for this module. I normally stick to two colours per module, so for this one I decided to do this green and also a purple colour. And I think this just kind of helps me keep in track with what I'm writing and the different things that I want to keep pointed out. I purchased most of my supplies online from eBay and Amazon. I will try and link them down in the description box below if you want to buy any of the things that I use. And I buy my lined paper from Muji. Muji has the best lined paper, it's literally my favourite. It is a little bit expensive though, which is a little bit annoying, but it's so smooth and the lines are so perfect. It's just so aesthetically pleasing as well and it already comes punched with 30 holes and I just think 30 holes look a lot better than the classic like four holes that you get with refill pads so that's also really why I like that paper as well and I did actually purchase a hole puncher which you can use to punch 30 holes on A4 paper which I will definitely link in the description box down below that again is also quite pricey I think it was about £10 for that hole puncher but it really does work really well and I love how it makes my sheets of paper look so I will definitely keep using it once I'm happy with how the lettering looks for the title I will rip the paper out and cut the title out neatly usually um, making sure to go in curvy directions where there's curves in the word. And I actually purchased this notebook when I went to Waltzing Waters in Isle of Wight a few years ago. It's just that I have this book lying around in my house and I just never use it and it's got so much nice white paper so I always use it when I letter stuff for letters and books and literally everything. And the scissors, I think I got them when I went on holiday a long time ago but obviously you can use any scissors and any white paper. Also, the brush pens that I use are by the brand Ohuhu. They're literally amazing. They're so cheap as well in comparison to other brands like Tombow. This is literally, I got, I think, a pack of 100 pens and it was only like 30 pounds. So it was such a bargain and they work amazingly. Okay, so now moving on to make the cover for the notebook. I love how brown covers look. It's just such a nice minimalistic look, I guess and also brown is one of my favourite colours. So I actually ended up buying these type of brown cardstock twice because I ordered it from eBay the first time and I was actually sent something totally different to what I ordered so I had to return that and I bought them again from a different company and this seller sells amazing quality 400 GSM brown card and it's so smooth and it just looks incredible I literally I'm so obsessed with how it looks and here you can see me using the hole puncher to punch 30 holes on to this piece of card and this hole puncher is so smooth as well it does make your hands hurt after a while especially if you are punching card because of how thick it is and you know you have to keep really like trying to press the hole punch down but I love how this looks and just repeating the same process on another sheet of cards so I have a front and a back for my book so like I mentioned before, the paper that I am going to be using is by Muji. They literally come in like 100 sheets in a pack for I think about £3. And I typically put about 20 to 30 sheets of paper to start off with. And then throughout the year, if I need more paper, I can add more in whatever order I want. And if I don't need that much paper, then I can just take it out at the end of that module and put the paper back into the packet so this is amazing because I'm not wasting paper with notebooks I always have pages 
left over at the end, like quite a lot of pages that I just don't use. And in some cases I run out of paper in my notebook so I end up having to start a second notebook, which is so annoying. But with this notebook folder type of combination, you just won't have that problem. So now going on and moving to these spiral thingies that are basically the spine of the book. I'm cutting them into basically sections of five because I did try and use a whole set of 30 rings. But the problem with that is that it's super annoying every time you want to add a new sheet of paper because you need to undo all the holes and that kind of does hurt your fingers a little bit. So that's why I tend to prefer to just have them in like five so it's a lot easier to open and close. And here you can just see me kind of playing around with them and I'm just going to add them to the top and the bottom. Obviously you can add as many rings or as little rings as you want, it's totally up to you. I ordered these plastic rings about a month ago and so they did take about a month to arrive so if you are thinking of making this type of notebook folder system do order your spiral rings in advance because they might take quite a while to arrive but other than that I think they just look great. I chose um, a clear one because that just matched my vibe the most but I think there are different colours you can choose from pink, green, white, whatever colour you fancy, but I just think the clear one looks the best, in my opinion. And here, as you can see, it opens just like a normal notebook that you would buy in the shop, and it looks really smooth. The best part about this is also that you can customise the paper that you want. So if you want squared paper in a certain page, you can put that in. If you want plain paper, you can put that in. And if you're getting a handout from your teacher, you can also put that in. You can just leave your book there if you like how it looks, but I wanted to decorate the cover a bit so that it just looks a bit more like me, I guess. So I did rip out a page from this book. I have like two copies of this book, so I don't mind ripping pages out. And I also had some other sticky notes and bits and bobs that I wanted to add on. I'm using this glue stick from Poundland, which is not the best glue stick, it's really not sticky at all, so you really have to use a lot of it, and also sticking the title as well. I do like to use some stickers too, so I'm going to be using a sticker from the sticker book that I got from Sheen. They do sell stationery as well, they literally sell everything, which is great. So I'm using this moon type of sticker, which I think looks so cute. It really matches with the module, I think or in my opinion it does. The moon is so big but it looks so pretty and I'm just layering that on top of the book paper and also the post-it notes. To personalise the book further I'm also going to be using some washi tape on the sides of the book to add a bit more colour. This is like a light blue coloured washi tape um, so I'm just going to stick it on the left and the right hand side. Because I love stickers so much, I'm going to include another sticker on the inside cover. I'm not sure what this character is called, but I just think these characters are so cute. I got this sticker from eBay and it's literally impossible to remove it from the back end and just sticking it on the bottom left hand corner before lettering contents at the front of the page. I like to include a contents page so that I can refer to certain lectures that I've had. So maybe one day I would have had a certain topic and another day I would have had a different topic. It just makes it easier rather than having to look through every page to find the particular one. And using this Jelly Roll white gel pen, I'm writing lecture notes and tutorial questions on these sticky tabs to put as dividers in my book because I don't really need plastic dividers. And yeah, that concludes this video. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up so that it can be shared with other people as well. And if you want to see more lifestyle and student content, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.